how these champions defied the odds to succeed. What did a racehorse, his jockey, the longest serving president of the United States and a Chinese businesswoman have in common? Courage, dedication, perseverance and the iron will to succeed. Aldeniti looked like becoming a champion steeplechaser. The aptly named Bob Champion looked like becoming a champion jockey. Then tragedy struck both at the same time. Aldeniti badly hurt a leg, falling in a race. The vets feared he may have to be put down. Bob was diagnosed with cancer and told he had eight months to live unless he underwent chemotherapy with only a 40% chance of success. Both were distraught. Was this really the end of their lives and their dreams? No way. One man spotted special qualities in both of them. He saw both were fighters with great inner desire to overcome the challenges fate had set them. That man was Aldeniti's trainer, Josh Gifford. Josh kept faith in Aldeniti and nursed him back to walking, then running, then racing again. After intensive treatment, Bob got the all clear to resume his career and accepted Josh's challenge to ride Aldeniti in the most famous race in the world, the British Grand National, run over the highest and biggest fences. They leapt to success, holding off the favorite in the final run-in, cheered home as heroes. Aldeniti lived to the ripe old age of 27. Bob set up a second career with the Bob Champion Cancer Trust, raising funds for cancer research. Through dedication, perseverance, and a never-say-die attitude, Aldeniti and Bob Champion won the world's biggest race and overcame life's biggest challenge, defying the odds to return victorious. Franklin Roosevelt was an up-and-coming young Democrat senator for New York State. He was expected to have a big future in US politics. By the age of 31, he had been made Assistant Secretary of the Navy by President Woodrow Wilson and joined the race to become Vice President of the United States at the next election. But he and James Cox were defeated by Republican Herbert Hoover. It was in Franklin's nature to fight back but, as he sought support for the next elections, he began to feel strangely unwell. He developed a high fever. His face felt numb. He found it difficult to get out of bed until he could no longer walk. Doctors diagnosed polio. Paralyzed from the waist down, his political career seemed over. But over six long years of coming to terms with his illness and getting used to life in a wheelchair, Franklin quietly kept up his contacts in the Democratic Party until they asked him to run in the 1928 election for New York governor. He won. Franklin Roosevelt was back. And the rest, as they say, is history. Through courage and perseverance, Franklin D. Roosevelt, nicknamed FDR, went on to become the longest serving US president of all time. During the Great Depression and Second World War, one of the most influential figures of the 20th century. As his biographer said, he lifted himself from a wheelchair to lift the nation from its knees. Zhu Kunfei had a hard upbringing in a 1970s China in the throes of change. Her father was blind and her mother died when she was five years old. From a very young age, Zhu was only thinking about where her next meal would come from and how she was going to get it. She survived though and helped her family to survive too. With no money and few prospects, Zhu left school at 16 to work on an assembly line in a watch lens factory. Day after day, doing the same dull job for very little money. Zhu dreamed of rising out of hardship and knew the best way would probably be to start her own business. So, in preparation for life as an entrepreneur, she took night classes in accounting. Zhu also saved up. At 23, she had just enough money to form a small startup company. Over the next decade, she built a factory, making watch lenses. It became very successful and grew to employ 1,000 people. 
Competitors became jealous of her success, however, and tried to squeeze her out of the market by making it difficult for her to get materials from suppliers. The suppliers demanded full payment before delivering any materials. She had to sell her house to meet their demands, but it still wasn't enough, and she became desperate. She felt she had nowhere to turn. Except she did have somewhere to turn to her family and the employees in her factory. They encouraged her to persevere, and with the help of excellent customer relationships, she overcame the crisis and business thrived. In 2015, Zhu's company, Lens Technology, went public. Today, it is valued at over 10 billion euros and has 82,000 employees throughout China. Zhu Kunfei is now the world's richest self-made woman, according to Forbes magazine. Like FDR, Aldeniti and Bob Champion before her, she would not have made it without courage, perseverance and dedication. Essential qualities to be a champion.